back to LX News, everybody. I'm Nick Z. Ashley Holt has the day off. And there's a lot of news happening right now on the COVID-19 front. It's still top of mind for a lot of people and for good reason. I mean, let's take a look at the newest numbers. If we move in right here, we're at 2.3 million confirmed cases in the United States. Deaths standing at over 121,000. But I want to zoom out a little bit and look at the global picture. Here's a map of the entire world and cases in other countries as well. And as you could see, no other country is really even coming close. The closest being Brazil here at 1.1 million confirmed cases. Some models showing that Brazil could eventually catch up to the United States. However, the way things stand right now, the U.S. a clear outlier. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, the New York Times analyzed global confirmed cases of the coronavirus this week, and they found the U.S. accounts for 20% of all new cases. Yet, we make up less than 5% of the world's population. But I want to go beyond these numbers right now and I want to explain something. I want to take a look at what's going on right now here in some states. Now the big news on Wednesday, governors of three states in the Northeast announcing new rules for people coming in from states where cases are on the rise. The governors of New York, Connecticut and New Jersey have issued a joint travel advisory requiring anyone traveling to these states from nine other states that are listed right here below. They'll have to quarantine for up to two weeks weeks upon arrival. This is a smart thing to do. We have taken our people, the three of us, these three states through hell and back. And the last thing we need to do right now is to subject uh, our folks to, to another round. We've got the quarantine in place. We'll be doing publicity and social media, reaching out to the travel agents, doing everything we can to tell people, um, you know, if you come to Connecticut, you come to New York, you come to New Jersey, you come safely and you follow the protocols, starting with a quarantine. So why is this happening now? Well, let's take a look at this map right here from NBC News. It shows where cases are rising and where they're falling here in the United States. I mean, check out where those three states are. That's green. The states that are green, that means cases are going down. And not coincidentally, those states that are uh, required now to quarantine, if you're coming from those states, those are all orange. That's where cases are going up. And the governors of these states, they want to make sure that they stay in the green, understandably. We now have to make sure that the rate continues to drop. And that's what keeps me up at night and I'm sure keeps them up at night. So we have to make sure we're doing everything and we're diligent and our citizens are diligent. We also have to make sure the virus doesn't come in on a plane again. So one of these one of the states on that list is Florida. A lot of people are watching what's going on there right now. Check out a few of these headlines coming out of Florida. This first one, Florida shatters daily record with 5,500 new coronavirus cases, passing that 109,000 total. Another one, Florida reports another record spike in coronavirus cases. It's up 5.3 in just one day. And Florida's not the only state setting a new record for single day increases. These three states also join that list, California, South Carolina, and Oklahoma as well. So let's talk about the impact uh, these spikes are having because we know the damage uh, this has done to the economy, right? And one industry that economists are watching, that's the restaurant industry. We pulled some data from Open Table. You might have used that site in the past if you wanted to make a reservation. Well, apparently they, uh, they gather data too. They're tracking restaurant data during the pandemic. And as you can see nationwide, restaurants are starting to steadily reopen for business. You can see that steady increase right there. But here's an interesting visual uh, we took. Three of the states with the biggest increases right now, California, Florida, and Texas. And uh, here we can get a look at how many people are sitting down at restaurants. This was pre pandemic. Uh, zero is where things were before. And then as you could see here from the lockdown mid March goes flat. We're basically at zero. And as you can see, people are beginning to slowly but surely hit restaurants again until there. Boom. June, sharp, sharp decrease. Bloom, Bloomberg first reported uh, on this trend. They, they say that this is just showing how quick the recovery could uh, be hard to pull off, right? As you could clearly see. But as things open up, people are definitely out and about. That is without a doubt. Um, for better or for worse, too. I mean, people are eager to get out, you know? Um, it looks like there's a sharp decrease, but as we see, I mean, these are photos coming from all around the world. I mean, all around the country. People are doing their thing. They're shopping, they're going out, they're buying books, 
they're sitting down at restaurants. I mean, we see a few people here with face masks on, but you know, it's yet to be seen um, where things go in terms of lockdowns once we're there. Um, this will cause a spike. I mean, that's just without a doubt. But Governor Andrew Cuomo still seems confident about how things are going across the state of New York. What New York is doing is counter to what you see across the nation. They are going up and we are going down. 27 states going up. Denial is not a life strategy. It never is. Those 27 states are going up. More people are being infected and more lives will be lost.